Wow. <laughs> oh my god. How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Today, guys, uh, we have a uh, smaller video than usual uh, that has popped up on my Twitter. I saw it just by chance, really. And the video is called, Is it okay to be obsessed with guys? It's from a channel called Girl Defined. They have uh, about 120k subscribers. They're up and coming. The video itself, I think, is about a year old. And it's been said that this video is uh, messed up. Um, I don't know what that means as I've not watched the video yet. Um, these two girls who run the channel are being called messed up for this video, but we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it. Let's watch the video! Hey girls, it's Bethany and Kristen with Girl Define, and today we want to answer the question, is it okay to be obsessed with guys? We want to tackle this topic because back in the day, back in high school, we were totally obsessed with guys at one point or another, and I remember one- Well, they weren't obsessed with me. <laughs> I wish they were. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, ladies, I'm fine with you being obsessed with me. Notice me. <laughs> I'm a specific story where I was totally obsessed with this one guy. In fact, I, I remember seeing him for the first time. And then from that point on, he is all I thought about day and night. And whenever I had the chance to be around him, I took it. I made sure I could be around this guy. I've read that. I've read that. I think it was a video that were, I did once where like one way of telling that a girl was really into you is that she will try her best to put herself in situations um, not necessarily that they themselves want to be in, just to be near Bay Senpai. <laughs> and my obsession grew over time to where to the point where I was just thinking about him 24-7. Mm -hmm. And I remember one time we were at, we were out with some friends this <laughs> and we were driving and then suddenly we saw his car parked at a restaurant and somehow it was a very distinct car so we knew it was his and we were like, there he is! And I was like, I want to go be near him! And so we literally did a massive U-turn in the middle of the street, zoomed it in the parking lot, spied in the windows and saw that he was in there. Wow. <laughs> so you did a U-turn after seeing what you thought was his car? Alright. I mean, I guess that does define obsessed. Maybe that's not okay to put other members of the public on the road at risk by doing a U-turn. Creeping through a window, I mean, that might be creepy to some, but, you know, come on, let's face it. If you see someone that you know and you're like, oh shit, you know, we've all done a little bit of a peek now and again. <laughs> but okay, alright. I'm just thinking in the back of my mind that you guys have said this video gets messed up, so I'm kind of waiting for it. <laughs> I'm waiting for a different sort of U-turn. Like a couple of blondes went and pretended like we, we didn't did. see him and sat like three rows over in the restaurant and then just, you know, hoped that he would notice me. So my obsession for- Why don't you just go over and talk to him? Uh, this is what I don't understand. A lot of pressure is put on guys, I think, to be the guy and go up and talk and have some sort of speech prepared, some sort of line or chat up line, or I don't know. I, I, I really don't think that I've ever- really been approached by a girl and her just want to get to know me and I'm shit at flirting I can't do that shit I walk up to a girl and I'm like hey <laughs> and then I just I just go <laughs> for this guy took me to places where I did some pretty silly things and so we want to talk about today is that okay as a girl as Christian girls for us to be obsessed with guys the truth is though a lot of us like Kristen like myself oh the other one has a voice I, I didn't think she was going to talk for a second there. Don't really become totally obsessed, like going out of your way to drive into the restaurant as soon as you see a car all at once. It normally starts small. Like, yeah. I'm guessing your obsession didn't start, like, the moment you saw him, like, driving, you know, wanting right. to be near him. It was kind of like a process. Like, you saw him, mm -hmm. you thought he was cute, you started thinking about him more and more, until eventually he just became the, the thing overtaking your mind. It's called a crush. We all crush, you know? When you crush on someone and they get stuck in your head, you know, it's uh, it's it's a normal thing. Uh, maybe don't make a U-turn in the middle of a street, <laughs> but you know, it's a crush. For me, that's what's happened in the past as well. My guy obsession didn't happen all at once. It was a slow, gradual process to where it was the first thought, then the second thought, then making an effort to be near him, then doing this until eventually it became the most important thing in my life. And I really felt like, oh, I need his attention. I need him to notice me in order to be happy because I just became so obsessed with that thing. And I have a feeling a lot of you girls can relate to us on this one. I think girls actually crush harder than guys, maybe. Or maybe girls show it more. I'm not sure, you know? We still have the question, is it okay to be obsessed mm -hmm. with guys? And honestly, girls, 
it's not okay. And not just because we don't think it's okay, but because as we over the years started looking into God's word, we realized that God's word teaches us that it is not okay to be obsessed with guys. <sighs> Fuck, there it is. There, <laughs> there it is. It's right there. Oh, shit. This kind of caught me off guard. If I knew this was a... <laughs> Are gonna be a religious rant. I may not have watched the video. <laughs> For me personally, what was happening in my heart when I looked back after I got over my obsession with that one guy that I was zooming into the restaurant to see, I realized that that guy had become so important in my life that in a lot of ways he kind of took the position of God. <laughs> don't don't laugh. Don't laugh, Des. Fucking bite your tongue. Bite it. First of all, don't ever tell a guy that he's God. All right. A lot of guys already think they're God, all right? They're just acting. You tell them that, it might become real in their head. So, okay, so you're now saying that this is wrong and that guys are somehow taking the position of God, of the head of your religion, the CEO of Christianity, and that you crushing on this guy is wrong because he's, he's taken that position. All right, let's hear more. Guy that I was living for. I mm. wanted his attention. I wanted his affirmation. If I was around him, then I was happy. If I wasn't, I was trying to figure out a way that I could be around him again. And he actually became an idol in my life. He became something so elevated, so important, that I honestly cared more about him than I even did about God at some times. And when that happens, that thing, that person becomes an idol, and that is when it becomes a very wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wow. Okay, some videos I go into and I think, man, I'm gonna make some jokes about this. But this one, uh, this is why I love Daz Watches, because you never know what's gonna happen or what's gonna be said on screen. I, uh, these gals, uh, I think I saw them on the rise once, you know, so they're, they're a rising channel, you know. And because they have all these religious views, uh, someone uh, who is young and is also religious, maybe even sometimes confused about religion, they, they, they find idols like this. Uh, this, this is wrong. And it is kind of messed up um, to say to young girls that an innocent thing, a pure, innocent, harmless thing, such as a crush, telling young girls that that feeling, boy meets girl, girl meets boy, it's the tale as old as time. It's the story, it's the baseline of all Disney films. It's love. And, you know, to say that that feeling is wrong, even if it is a bit obsessive, like, that's what a crush is. Crushing on someone and just... Lo loving them and wanting to be near them. That, that's the most purest, most wonderful feeling that anyone can feel. And to say to young girls that it's wrong and that it's against God and it, you know, breaks religious guidelines. This is what reminds me that Daz, you're not just an atheist because you don't believe in religion. You don't hate religion because of religion. I don't like religion because of people. I think it's fine to be religious. I think it's fine that people find hope and it makes them happy to believe in what they want to believe. If, if it brings you comfort and it doesn't hurt other people, I'm not against it at all. You believe in God. Do what makes you happy. But it's when people like this, they take that faith, they take that religion and they abuse it by putting their own spin on it. I don't think young girls need to be hearing that liking a boy is wrong if the guy in your life is an idol. Is he an obsession? Well, listen to this quote, and this will really help clarify it for you. It's by Elise Fitzpatrick, and it says, Idols aren't just stone statues. No, idols are the thoughts, desires, and longings, and expectations that we worship in the place of the true God. Idols cause us to ignore the true God in search of what we think we need. Mm -hmm. And that is so often what guys become in our life. When we become obsessed with a guy, mm -hmm. we are basically replacing him instead of God. We're saying, I need this guy in order to be happy. And in a way, we almost start worshiping this idea or this guy that we need him. Like Christian, without even realizing yeah, without it. Even realizing That's what happened it. to me. Yeah. So you're saying that when, I don't know, a pregnant woman who has natural cravings for KFC at two in the morning, every morning, you know, it uh, becomes an obsession to her because it's a craving. It's just a natural part of a uh, uh, childbirth, I guess. This mm -hmm. slowly over time becomes that. There's a great verse in Exodus that really clarifies this for us. It says, 
You must not have any other God but me. You must not make for yourself an idol of any kind or an image mm. of anything in the heavens or on earth or in the sea. Exodus 23 through 4. So for us, it became really clear mm. that a guy can't become an idol. It can't, he can't become something that we worship. We can't be obsessed with guys. So I think the answer straight from scripture is pretty clear that a guy cannot become your obsession. As Christian girls, we have to remember a few foundational truths. And these are some foundational truths that really helped us when we mm. were younger, get over our crushes, get over our guy obsessions. And we want- It's not a drug issue or an addiction or something that's gonna harm your health. They're treating it like it really is a sort of um, dangerous thing. So the first foundational truth is God can fully satisfy you. So whether you, you, right now you might be thinking, oh, there's this guy and you might even be thinking of a guy, you know, are you thinking of a certain guy? Do you have his name in mind right now? And you're thinking, if this guy would only like me, if I had his attention, he would fully satisfy me. But the truth is, is that he can't. God didn't design guys to fully satisfy mm -hmm. us. God, our creator, is the only one that can fully satisfy us as women. And until we look to him for that satisfaction, we won't ever be fully satisfied. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> God is the only guy that will fully satisfy you. So many things I wanna say right now, but they're so offensive. <laughs> it's basically saying that if something feels good, you shouldn't do it unless it, um, only if it means God in some way. It makes God out to be some sort of attention seeker that's like, don't find pleasure in eating that cake. Don't have another slice. Read my book again, the Bible. Me, 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 me. It's, um, I think even as someone who just doesn't like religion or the thought of it, I think that this is painting religion wrong. Is it? God is the only one that can satisfy you as a woman. That's disturbing. It's pretty disturbing. The next truth that has really helped the two of us is that God is in control of every aspect mm. of your life. And for me as a single girl, this is really comforting because I don't have to worry about chasing after a guy or striving after his attention because I know that God's mm. in control of that part of my life. If he wants a guy to notice me, if he wants me to be in a relationship, he can easily bring a guy into my life. So knowing that God is in control is so comforting and we encourage you to grasp onto that truth. God's in control of everything and makes everything happen for you. So when a veteran um, loses his home, home and they're homeless and saying, for the longest time, please, you know, help me. And they end up dying in the street. Are you saying that's just God saying you don't deserve it? You know, you got, you got to look at things like, like they are in the real world. There are a lot of people ignoring the people that say, please God, let me win the lottery. Because not everyone deserves to win the lottery. It's the luck of the draw. You're saying, you're, if you are going to say that God is in charge of your life and the decisions in your life, that he is also consciously making that decision that that baby will have a brain tumor, that's someone you want to worship and give your whole life up for? Let me tell you a joke. All right, I'm going to tell you a joke. Kind of falls in line with what she's saying. There's this guy and he's trapped on a roof. Okay, there's a huge tsunami coming and the water is rising and rising and rising. As the water is rising, a boat comes along and says, and the guy in it says, come, we got some space in the boat, get off the roof, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, jump in. The guy says, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep praying, God's gonna save me. He's in control. He'll help me. The water's rising and rising, so the boat drives off. Another boat comes along. This time it's a little bit more full, you know? This is the last chance to get any survivors out. So the boat's got a lot of people in it. And again, they say, come on, man, you, the, the water's at your feet now. It's swallowing your house. You're gonna die. And the guy's like, no, no, I don't care how much time there is left. God will save me if I pray hard enough. He will save me, not you. Eventually, there are no more boats, and the guy dies. Uh, he drowns, obviously and the current takes him away. When he gets to heaven, he's kind of annoyed. And he says to God, he says, God, why, what the hell, man? I was on top of that roof for such a long time and you, you didn't save me. And God looks at him and says, what are you talking about? I sent you two boats. That joke, though it's not funny. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't hate religion or faith. I hate people who abuse it. There are miracles that happen and things do happen to us that are good. Whether that's 
God's plan or any other higher meaning, you don't know. But you get in the boat. If you want to believe in gods, don't believe that he's going to suck you off that rooftop in a beam of light and place you on a higher hilltop. Believe in God in ways that... Believe in God as answers. There was a time where we all prayed uh, for something to help cure children of plague and flu. Eventually, aspirin came along, yeah? Is it not possible that all these things like aspirin and chemotherapy, can they not all be God's answers in some way? The same way as a crush who comes into your life, someone who makes you happy, you fall in love, you have a family and beautiful children, can that not be interpreted as God's plan? Why must you make that feeling be evil? Oh no, I can't take medicine. I can't have a blood transfusion. That blood transfusion and all the science that went into it, are you gonna say that that may not be God's work? What is the point of believing in a God and saying that he is the only one that can satisfy you if you're never satisfied with his answers? This is where religion loses me. I don't get it. Next truth is this, that no earthly person will ever be able to meet all of your mm. needs. And as girls, a lot of times, and we know this struggle, we've done this, we look to guys to meet our needs. We feel emptiness, we feel insecurities, and we look to guys hoping that they can meet our needs and make those feelings go away. But the truth is, a guy cannot meet all of our needs. He wasn't designed to mm. do that. The only way that we're gonna get our needs fully met is in our relationship with Christ. That's what's proven true in our lives and we know that's what te scripture teaches and so yes. we encourage you to latch onto that truth and fully embrace it for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. That officially wraps up this video and this topic. If you liked it, we'd love it if you give us a thumbs up and if you wanna see more videos from us, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and also we would love to interact mm -hmm. with you in the comment section below. So if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, go mm -hmm. ahead and write them below. We'd oh, I'm gonna fucking spell it out for you. <laughs> love to interact with you. In fact, we actually have a new book that just came out called Girl Defined, mm -hmm. God's Radical Design for Beauty, Femininity, and Identity. So if you're interested in learning more about true love and romance as defined by God's word, then we encourage you to grab a copy of our new book and you can find more information about that at our website, which is girldefined.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, so that was uh, the video. The girls seem lovely. I'm sure they mean no harm, but maybe my opinion, um which is completely opposite to what they're saying, uh, at least this video gives you two sides. My side and my thoughts um, and their thoughts. And I don't want this to be uh, taken as atheism versus religion. Um, I don't even want to use the word atheist. I don't even really want to um, bring my views into it because I don't want it to be an argument, especially in the comments. Um, I don't want to be told... Um, that I'm gonna go to hell because of what I've said. If I go to hell, then fine. At, at least you can stay up till midnight there. Uh, that's that's gonna backfire. <laughs> um, I just feel that, like I said, there's a lot of things in this world um, that people expect there to be a beam of light at some point and have their problems fixed by some sort of, uh, by God. But like I say, you know, I think, I think, there are a lot of um, things that could be considered uh, God, if you are going to consider them. And those answers, like I said, they, they could be um, such things as, as a boat and a second boat to save you from drowning. Antidepressants, you know? Religion, to me, is very contradicting. And it's people who contradict it, twist it, and, and it comes out in the form of this, I'm sorry, bullshit. Where such a small, innocent feeling as a crush is being taught as evil. Whereas is that guy might actually be God's answer. That guy, if you really want to get religious, could be God saying, I want you to feel this way about him because he's going to make you happy. Could you not interpret it that way? Why must it only be bad, good? It's putting it on a pedestal and, it's, it's ex and you're getting these expectations that not one person can meet without having a miserable life. Anyway, uh, like I say, guys, I, 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 I'm not trying to offend anyone. I've tried to be very decent in this video because I know people are religious and they believe in this. And like I say, I've got no problem with that at all. 
if it makes you happy, if it brings you faith, wonderful. And I just wish you happiness. I don't believe in it. That's my opinion. I'm not going to say any more than that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, love, caress my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs> it's just a way for them to be richer but quicker. Gives me the fuel that I need for this run to be sicker. I'm sick.